Hey everybody, Captain Mike Rowell here with Charter Boat Annie Girl. Well, it's uh, September the 1st, 2011. We've got a area of low pressure out in the Gulf, so the weather's going to be terrible this weekend for fishing. So I guess we'll just have to stay inside and enjoy the opening weekend of college football. Really looking forward to that. But I just want to take a minute and remind you about the fall fishing that we have here out of Orange Beach. Uh, the fall is one of my favorite times of year to fish. Uh, there's not as much pressure on the fish this time of year. You know, people are going back to work, vacations are over, school's in. There's just not as many people accessing the resource. Therefore, the fish seem to kind of settle down and, and uh, as the water temperature starts cooling off, these fish just get fired up and I mean it's on. It's, it's awesome fishing. So if you didn't get to go fishing this summer or if you want to go again, I just want to encourage you to try the fall fishing in Orange Beach. Uh, every species will be available except red snapper. Uh, the red snapper season was very short this year. It was only 48 days. But, uh, uh, and grouper season has been closed, but it's going to open up September 15th and it'll close October 31st. So you've got every species there is out there available except for red snapper. Got all your bottom fish, vermilion snapper, trigger fish, grouper, scamp. You got your, all your offshore species, tuna, wahoo, dolphin, marlin, uh, even uh, close in around the nipple and elbow, you know, 30, 40 miles to the southeast. Uh, we have a pretty good fall fishery for the white marlin. So all kinds of possibilities. So if you hadn't got to go, just wanted to remind you, fall fishing in Orange Beach is awesome. And we would love to take you. Uh, I just want to throw in one more thing uh, about the closed seasons on different species. You know, we've got, we've got to manage our fisheries the same way we do deer, turkey, uh, ducks, everything else. So we're always going to be looking at some sort of a closure on different species. Uh, it's sort of a new thing. Uh, you know, I'm not used to it yet, even though we've been doing it quite a while. Uh, but a lot of people are having a hard time accepting the fact that there's a closed seasons on different species. And even though I don't like it, look at the what, what the fisheries management has done for red snapper. Red snapper are everywhere. They have, the population has exploded and partially due to closures. Now, should it still be closed? No, in my opinion and most everybody's. Unfortunately, our management system moves very slow. Uh, we, all of us believe that red snapper season should be open at least twice as long as it is. I mean, the fisheries recovered, and I could go on and on about all the details of that. Is fisheries management perfect? No. Do we need it? Yes. And in the meantime, I promise you, me and a lot of other friends of mine that are in this business and recreational fishermen, we're constantly trying to get the fisheries management people to listen to us and, and make some common sense decisions. And that's not always easy when you're deal, dealing with the federal government. But we are working on it. Uh, but anyway, getting back to my point, the point is we are so lucky here in the Gulf to have so many different species of fish. So when there is a closure on a particular species that, that needs some pressure uh, taken off of them, we've, we've got so many other fish that we can fall back on. You know, I've never been a person that specialized in a species. I never specialized in just red snapper or just amberjack or just this or that. I've tried to catch my customers a variety of fish and uh, that's what I'm going to continue to do. And uh, so, you know, we we always catch a lot of fish. I mean, we're guilty of catching way too many fish sometimes. Uh, do we always fill the box? No, but we catch fish more often than we don't. So anyway, just kind of want to throw that out there. You know, it's kind of like the, the old cliche is the glass half full or half empty. 
if you're looking at some closures of certain species, we got other species we can fall back on. And don't we just want to go out there and have fun? I mean, we I know we want to catch fish, and I I want to catch your fish. Don't get me wrong, but we want to have fun. It's the fellowship of being with our families, friends, or coworkers, or we're entertaining customers. We're going to have fun, and we're going to catch some fish too. So that's my little uh, video for today, and uh, I may look silly and. I don't know if y'all like this or not, but just trying different things to to keep everybody interested and, uh, you know, just show y'all different perspectives on, you know, how I look at things and what's coming down the pike. And uh, I'll keep you updated with all the seasons and whatnot. But in the meantime, I hope you have a great fall, a great Christmas and uh, holidays coming up. Uh, be safe. I'm getting ready to go hunting. Really looking forward to that too. So uh, I appreciate y'all listening in. And next time you go fishing, hope you'll consider going with the charter boat Annie girl. And we appreciate it. Have a good one.